futures and options on futures trading involve substantial risk and is not a suitable investment for all types of investors. Past results are not necessarily indicative of future results. When I use the word I in this video, it refers to what I teach in my charting course or what I author in my twice daily oral and written updates. Prices shown on charts and quote boards are in real time and take into account all known activity up to this point in time. And if you'd like to read more of this disclaimer, simply hit the pause key on your video player. Well, good day, everyone. I'm Rap Stein, and here we are. And this is Tuesday, the 6th of December, 2011, getting on oh, what we now about uh, 2.40 in the afternoon. And I'm really excited about gold. You know, this morning, gold was dropping, got down to 1,705.70. Everyone in my office, I said, everybody stop. I want you to listen to something. Market was around 1,708, and I said, I think today's going to prove to be that pop day, and I don't think you're going through 1,704.30, and now we've got to wait and see what the market does. But if I'm right, it's going to make a run for the 18-day average of closes, and that could set up a whole play on this market going into the end of the year. You're there. I think you're getting there right now. Silver could be the same type of thing. Copper, no. I think copper's ahead of itself at the Bollinger Band, so I don't see much there. I'm still very much in the bear camp in the bonds and the notes at this juncture, and I can be completely thrown off if Europe does the wrong thing. But every headline I keep hearing out of Europe is the right headline. Now they're talking two different types of funds, working side by side to address the debt situations that are going on. You know, there's 27 countries that make up the EU. 17 use the currency. Trying to get all 27 online, why would they do it? Members of the EU that don't use the currency aren't going to turn over, if you will, their own sovereignty of their economy in any manner for the greater good of that. But, but, that's the 10. The 17 might. Why not? It's for the greater good of all. If they can accomplish something in that will, I'm not talking you take over the country, just penalties that you have to follow, guidelines within your budget. This market is primed to really surprise people. We'll see. Uh, I don't want you to get ahead of yourself here, but as you can see today, you're not going anywhere in the euro. You're really not going anywhere in the dollar. These markets want to say, prove it to me. So here's the gold market, and you can see the lower low today and the market finally coming up. Now, I don't think it's going to close higher because at 1230 it wasn't there, but it's starting to make a move towards the highs of the day right now. And with those highs, while they'll show up, the market closed a bit lower at the 1230 time frame. That's okay with me. I... I take the chart, I widen it out, and I start putting on my swing line study. You can see it, 1704.30, 1705.70 today. Now I'm looking for this market to start marching to the upside. And where do you think the battle is happening right now? Look at the 18-day average of closes, the red line, 1737, 1736.90 or 1736.30. That's the battleground. And as long as the market can fight this battleground here, ideally, and take out today's highs tomorrow, I think you're going to make a run after that for the 1767.10 zone. What would throw me completely off base? I'll tell you ahead of time. If the market got up higher tomorrow than today's high and then went back under that 1705.70 of today, that would have me scratching my head saying, I guess I'm not going to be right. Barring that, I think if you can clear the 1767.10 zone, what happens is, Number one, your 100-day and your 45-day average. And don't you like the fact how the market came down today? Today, if I go back a day, you had, this is yesterday. You hadn't come down to the 45-day. You didn't have to. But I've been telling you for several days, I thought support was going to be those three moving averages. You came down and you hit it, and that's where you're at right now. I mean, it's textbook as far as I'm concerned. And this market looks like it doesn't need a lot of reason to pick up and run. The disappointment could be Europe. That's what none of us know. Barring that disappointment, this chart setup, is, as I see it, is now at the point where it's saying, okay, what next? And I mean, you've come right up to that exact point at that 18-day average of closes. What next? And the momentum of the market is not overbought. So the market just needs some propellant. It needs something to make it go, and I'm hoping that it's the European situation, and then I'm going to still target that 1800 level by year end as a strong possibility to get to. I've also told you what would make me wrong. Now, I want to tell you something else. Yesterday, I released my charting course, and this is it. 
this is the new uh, charting course that I put out. You get a QT market center when you go with it handheld. I wake up in the morning, use it. If you're in Australia, you're watching, it'll work with that. All the American markets come in, and we'll be adding more quotes as time goes on. Uh, you can even later this month trade off it if you have a trading account with us. But it's going to give you news, weather maps. I mean, it's cool. We're not putting charts in the handheld version at this point. We keep putting them there, and we just don't see anything other than a line chart that's there. And I don't think it's helpful enough just yet. I'd rather have bigger buttons. I mean, I'm getting older, and I want to be able to see what they are. The course itself, we tell you about everything right through here. Uh, it goes with all that I'm doing. This is the fifth version of the course I've done in 10 years. I call it version number two because I changed the name from the Futures Academy a while back to what's called Ira Epstein's Charting Course. I won't do another one for two years, and I'm celebrating the year. I've sold this course for $499.95, dropped it down as I realized that it was getting a little older in the tooth uh, at the end of the year to around $299. Now, this is brand new. It comes with every bell and whistle I have, $179.95, but that's only for the Christmas time frame. I'm going to kick it back up. So if you've liked what you've seen here, you might want to go view it, make up your own mind what it is. Uh, either way you go, I'll be happy to throw in this uh, handheld device whether you ever buy it or not. I, I want you to all see that. I think it's that important to what I do. Okay, so let's go back to the charts. Here's the silver market. I'm jumping up and down because this is exact action I wanted. And I don't care if I tell my clients to get in and they're wrong. I care in that I don't want to be wrong, but this is the setup. I, I don't know what more to say. You came down, you're now fighting at the 18-day average of closes. Now what the key is, is take out today's high, don't retake out today's low, and I start looking for $35 an ounce. You're not even overbought in that market. Platinum market. Platinum market's nothing yet, but it has strong seasonals that kick in just a little later this month. And those seasonals will be interesting from right here. All you've done is come back one more time, hugging the Bollinger Band, not exceeding it in any manner, staying under the 18-day average, which keeps you out of a buy mode. You've got to wait for the market to do better on that uh, getting up to the buy mode. Copper last night, I wrote the, my uh, twice-daily report that my subscribers get. Just tell them not to buy against that 363 level. And I, I don't think I've been wrong in the analysis. You went down to 352 and a half today. And I realize you say, ah, it's just a bleep in the market. Yeah, but if you're trading a full-size contract, that's a $2,500 bleep. Come on. Uh, it looks easy, but when you put real money at work, you've got to understand money management. And by the way, in my trading course here, one of the things I do, I take a whole chapter out, more than a chapter, and I discuss money management. Because I think it's as important as a moving average or anything else. You're going to be wrong making trades. And if you can't stand the pressure or you jump in because you think the fundamentals are certainly, forget it. The trades you think that are going to work the best are the ones that are going to lose. The name of the game, and I, I can't say it enough, come up here and close the name of the chart completely. And look at the pattern. Would you be buying against the Bollinger Band? And that answers your question for you. Now we're getting to the cotton market. Life has come into this market. And this is a market that has left uh, stochastic, that's oversold, trying to get back to neutral territory, the 18-day average of closes, and start fighting a new battle there. Sugar market. Look at how it's still fighting at this 18-day average. I've been showing you sugar since it was down in this area. And I said when it broke away, I said I think it's going to that 18-day average to now find what it's going to do next. And that's where you're at in this market right now. So as we're trying to put everything together, the key is where does everything go? Where is it all going to fit in? And that's what we're going to see. I wouldn't chase the stocks on this big rally today and let them come back a little bit to you. The weakest part of the stock indexes all day has been the NASDAQ. The strongest has been the Dow all day long. Now we'll see where it all fits in. Again, if you'd like our handheld phone device, even if you don't take the charting course, I'll give it to you for free anyways, but it's really a cool piece. You see these videos? They come out, and when you get one, when I post a new video, it's actually going to be able to message you without a text message, tell you right on there, ah, there's a new video to watch. Very cool stuff that we're doing here. I'm Ira Epstein, looking for your trading business. You have a good day. Thanks for watching me.